So welcome to the 8th bootstrap tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at icons and also we're going to be making some quick adjustments to kind of fix up our site. So in bootstrap, bootstrap has built in icons, they're called glyphicons. And if you go to the bootstrap site, I'll leave the link in the description. You can see all of the different icons which you can use in bootstrap. So all of these come built in and they're really simple for us to use. All we need to use is iClass equals an icon dash and a name of the icon and then we just have to close that off so these icons can be used pretty much anywhere in strings of text on buttons or in our navbar uh, in this video we're going to be using the icon dash home icon um, and we're going to put that right next to the home button you can put them for each of them if you can find appropriate icons but I'm only going to do the home button you can also put them on these buttons down here or you could in fact put them next to text. So first thing we need to do is head over to our navigation bar which is yep, right here and it's this home button that we're going to be styling. So this is really simple just just before the text home and this is going in the link we're going to go um, i class equals icon dash and then home and then we're just going to close that off here, slash up. Sorry, close it off before the home. Slash I there, so save that. And refresh. And you see what the home icon. And bootstrap do say, uh, when using besides strings of text, as in buttons or nav links, be sure to leave a space after the I tag. So that is what we're going to do. So just after the closing tag, we're just going to leave a space. Save that. And we'll go and refresh it. And you see it all looks perfect now. Uh, as I said, we could put it next to the view plans button or any of these buttons or anything. Or we could even put it in our table. But I'm not going to worry about that. This is just an example. You can do whatever you want with it. I also want to make a quick fix in our, um, in our hero unit. You can see that there's more space at the bottom here than there is on the top. So we get, this is a really quick fix. All we need to do is go into our custom styling and go dot hero dash unit and set a margin dash top to 20 pixels or try 20 not exactly I'm not sure exactly what it is yep 20 looks good you can play around with it if you want different but that's a really simple fix so uh, that's our site complete um, if there's anything else you want to learn about bootstrap 2.3.2 let me know I'll also be doing a bootstrap 3 series very soon uh, it was quite unfortunate that I started uploading the series the night before Bootstrap 3 came out, but oh well, I know a lot of people would like to use Bootstrap 2 still, so I'm going to leave these up anyway. So yeah, Bootstrap 3 will be coming out very soon. Uh, so thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.